With the regular season finally coming to an end, there are only a few more things left to do. Crown the individual achievements and crown a champion. Kansas is in running for both. With one of the greatest seasons at running back, does Ben Zapp win the Heisman? And does Kansas get that chance at a national title? Welcome to 688 The Bull, Kansas Jayhawk football press conference with head coach Slacker Gaming. Coach, congrats on the great year at Kansas. Are you excited for the next steps? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see the, the team's success um, with what we've done this year and how hard we've worked to get here and, and finally seeing the hard work pay off. I mean, it's, it's great, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it. Ben Zapp has won the Heisman, but not just barely, but by over 500 first place votes. It seems everyone thought he was the player of the year. Are you surprised by this? And what has Ben said about winning the Heisman? Well, Ben's had an amazing year. It hasn't, if it hasn't been the best year I have ever seen, he's close, but he was well deserving of the Heisman. And I think he's fully deserving of all the achievements he is receiving as for what Ben thinks. Uh, the team celebrated some of the hardware that is coming our way. And um, after this season, it's, it's well-deserved, but Ben is such a good player and he wanted to make sure that the presentations weren't about him, but about the team and the team's achievements this year. So as you know, you will be playing North Carolina in the round of four game to get to the national title. What are your thoughts on playing North Carolina as the number one seed in the final four? Well, you're, I've just been telling everyone, just keep winning and we'll take care of itself. And Bam is also undefeated and well-deserving of a number one seed as well. So I'm just pumped to be in the final four and have the chance for these men to, to make it to the title game. Uh, but we'll be ready. We'll be ready. Bama versus Iowa State is the other finals game. Are you surprised that ISU made it to the final four since they are in the Big 12 and didn't make the conference title game? Uh, not really. Uh, I think they're a top five team uh, just because their standings didn't fall their way. Uh, when it came to the conference title, doesn't mean that they didn't deserve it. If if Texas would have beaten us, I think Texas and ISU both make it. So I think the Big 12 would have gotten two in just with how the rate rankings and everything were following. After a few losses in the conference games, I, I think that it, this how it shook out. How are you feeling with a little over a week to prepare for UNC? It's, it's a little different um, because they're, they're out of our conference and we've been so stuck in conference games where we, we know everyone and we know all the players and everything to kind of have to play out a conference again since the beginning of the season when you don't really even know what other teams are doing anyways. Um, but we're excited for the game. Um, we don't normally see this type of team and we don't normally see UNC. So we just, we have just as much information on them as they do us. And so it should be a good even game. Thank you so much, coach. This is 688 The Bull of Kansas Jayhawk Football Radio, and we will see you next week for the UNC game in the Final Four.